So I've been seeing this tag going around on YouTube about 10 things that one would repurchase immediately if they lost everything. I've seen the luxury girls do it and I've really enjoyed it. I've been watching a few of those videos but I thought IJ you know you could do the beauty version right? But before we get into that, I'd love to let you know who I am, just in case you don't know. My name is Ijama. I'm a beauty lover, a skincare influencer, a pro makeup artist, and a woman of a certain age. And I feel like all these things truly inspire everything that I do on my channel. I really like this video tag. Um, it gave me a lot of food for thought. I thought, you know what? What would I repurchase? to get me back to ground zero where could i really start from because let me tell you i am a very dedicated beauty lover my beauty is important to me it's a part of my identity it's part of my self-care it's a part of my mental health it's a part of all this okay so th this was this was interesting to think about i have got 11 things to talk about i had to put one honorable mention but I like this list. This is also going to be a really interesting way to get to know me. Number one, a slow cooker. I know, I know, weird, but let me explain myself. For the last two years, I feel, wow, has it been two years? Wow, you go girl, you go, wow. For the last two years, I have been doing home facials for myself every week, every Monday. I do my face and my neck at home. I do alternate, basically I do my face one week, my neck and my chest the other week and so on, etc. So, I needed a situation to warm my towels. At the end of the day, that spa vibe, if you don't have warm hot towels, is it, is, it, is it even giving what it's supposed to give? No. So I was watching one of my faves, Miss Tammy. I will make sure to link her down below. She's absolutely fabulous. She uses slow cookers to warm her towels. In fact, she's got slow cookers specifically for this job and she leaves them in her bathroom i was like girl you're a genius count me in so i invested in a slow cooker for my beauty treatments and let me tell you this is something that i have truly repurchased because i have broken my slow cooker ceramic pots twice already and I didn't have it for two weeks and it, it became a non-negotiable and I just I was like no I can't stay without it I need to repurchase it how am I supposed to do my beauty treatment now yes I know there's a special machine to do this job but I like my slow cooker vibes you know and I don't really have space in my beauty room to put that towel warmer machine so this slow cooker it does what it needs to do for me Number two, a toner. I am a tonerholic, okay? Hi, my name is IJ, I love toners. It's my favorite part of the skincare routine. I just like hydrating the skin. I like what it does after my cleansing routine. I genuinely feel like I, I would feel like something important is missing from my skincare routine if I didn't have a good toner in it. And for the last couple of years, I've been absolutely in love with a purifying toner from Nankin Skincare. This toner ticks so many boxes. It ticks all the important boxes that I need a toner to tick. It refreshes the skin, it moisturizes the skin, it hydrates the skin, it's a good price, it has great ingredients. It really does do the job for me in such a beautiful way. I have gone through several bottles. I don't like being without it. Um, I always have a backup and when I get to the last bottle, in my backup situation i always repurchase maybe three or four at a go i always say this it's the toner that i would give people who don't believe in toners just just try this it's it's really nice next up on the list is a good balm i am a balm lover i love a good balm and for me why i decided to put a good balm in this list is because for me balms can be quite multifunctional if i find a really good balm i know i can do an oil cleanse with it 
and I can leave it on the skin as well as a last step. Now I have met and used several amazing balms over the years. Right now I am using a balm that definitely ticks all the boxes that I would need it to tick. It is strictly full of oils, there's nothing else in this, it's only oils and butters. It's a great size, it's a great price, I really like how it feels on the skin. I am talking about the Defense SOS Balm from Bellanos Skin Botanic. It's fantastic, the ingredients are just right, I absolutely love the price. And of course I have got to shout out my love and that is the Midnight Blue Recovery Balm from Dames and Dimes. <sighs> possibly the one of the best balms I've ever met in my life an absolutely incredible product it brings me so much joy it grounds me the scent of it is such an experience every time I've had it in my routine I'm like oh you're good you're really really good and it's a beautiful product. I will link down below a blog post I've written about it. I've also done an in-depth review of all the balms from Dames and Dimes. There's only so much I can rave about that balm. I have spoken so highly about it. It belongs on this list. It is a fantastic product. The idea of losing everything. <laughs> does bring on a touch of anxiety so I think buying something that would calm me down is important and I would just buy a bunch of K-Beauty toners. K-Beauty really helps me scratch that itch, that love of mine for watery skincare. They have so many types of toners and essences and ampules and hydration is my thing. I love to hydrate my skin so I would genuinely buy like five to ten toners randomly i would buy some that i've used in the past before i'll buy some new ones i would buy some that i absolutely love i don't have a list set in stone because i'm always trying new ones but yeah i would do that just just to calm myself and give myself something new to explore as i'm trying to gather everything back into my life let's put the honorable mention in the middle of this list and that is my skincare bag yes i have a skincare bag a bag that i pack my skincare in when i'm traveling this is a gorgeous leather bag that was custom made for me a very long time ago oh my days it has to be close to a decade i have had this bag it is absolutely gorgeous i just love the shape of it i love how weird and long it is it fits everything it fits my skincare style i can pack so much in this it is kind of ridiculous it is also something that i have a really soft spot for because I bought this when I really decided to commit myself to skincare. I really decided to commit myself to my beauty routine. It really became a solid part of my identity and that's what this bag means to me. It just, it means a lot. It cost me a bit of money at the time and I mean 10 years, look at it, immaculate condition. It's getting nice and old as good leather does. The bag means a lot to me and if I lost it, it would break my heart but I would replace it immediately in the exact same shape, exact same leather, I would want everything to be identical. Love. I really love. <laughs> That bag was made for me in Nairobi by a leather company. If there's anybody watching me from Nairobi, I will leave the details of where I got the bag from. They're still in operation, they're still doing the thing, and I trust that they can make something for you. Number six is silk scarves. Now, Miss Tammy, <laughs> she's responsible for a lot of my beauty ways. Anyway, it is from Miss Tammy that I learned how to sleep on silk scarves. Now, I know you can't buy silk pillowcases, but because I change out my bedding every week and I like colorful bedding, how many silk pillowcases did I need to buy to match my bedding? You know, kind of wild. So what I decided to do was to simply fold a silk scarf 
over my pillow before I go to bed and it works for me I'm not a wild sleeper so my silk scarf does not take a walk at night <laughs> but I really do like that concept of the skincare remaining on your skin and stopping the cotton pillowcase from eating everything up and once I started doing that I realized that I had a huge reduction of texture on my cheeks because I used to have a lot of texture on my cheeks and I never used to understand where is this coming from because I was doing everything that I was doing I was skin caring my skin was young <laughs> you know but I, I didn't understand but once I started that silk scarf game there was just a clarity on my cheeks and I think the friction from the cotton was making my skin a little bit unhappy and in saying that this is your sign to try it if you're not ready to invest in a silk pillowcase maybe try sleeping with a silk scarf over your pillow for a month study your skin see what happens for me it's a staple even when I travel I will pack several silk scarves to sleep with I cannot just imagine throwing my face on a cotton pillowcase anymore no 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 Number seven is good old clay. I absolutely love to mask my skin. It is a very solid part of my skincare routine. And I have found using clay in its raw form to be a really affordable and effective way for me to achieve those goals for myself. It also suits my skin type. I have combination skin. I do get oily in the middle of my T-zone and I am normal everywhere else. So having clay in its raw form, I can mix it with honey or aloe and make a really nice mask that, that's not only a deep clean, but also moisturizes and nourishes my skin. I can make Mix that mask as well with toners with essences with ampules with serums having clay in its raw form really does a thing for me because I know how to play with it I have been doing this for years maybe five years now and I it's a staple I have never been without it since I started doing this and I don't want to be without my bag of clay I usually buy my clay from Akoma Skincare. They have about five types of clay on their website, but my go-to has always been Gasol clay. It works perfectly for my skin. And I can also use that clay to clean my hair because I do make clay masks for my hair. I, of course, have Afro hair. I'm an African girl and clay masks really do work for our hair type. It helps nourish it, yet clarify it at the same time. So without a doubt, clay is extremely important in my beauty routine and it belongs in this list. Where are we? I think we're number eight. A good lip balm. Listen, I have dry lips. Drier than the Sahara Desert. Like, there's nothing I've not tried, okay? There is nothing I've not tried. I've tried every lip balm that I can try and I keep trying. Nine out of 10 times they disappoint me. They don't really do what I need them to do. But over the last two to three years, I have found a lip balm that has behaved really well and I give it an eight out of 10. It gives me great results. I mean, there are sometimes my lips still get dry with this lip balm, but it is a lip balm I have repurchased over and over again. It is a lip balm that I have thrown other lip balms for it does the job i love it and that is the lip treatment balm from nankin skincare Whew. a beautiful product a little bit spendy but it does the job for me it's full of oils and butters and a little bit of beeswax and i think it's a beeswax that helps the uh, the lip balm really adhere to my lips but in essence, it's also a fantastic formula. It just really does the job for me and I am constantly repurchasing it. And until I find a lip balm that does what that lip balm does for me, an absolute staple for me, it needs to be repurchased. I am being a little bit dramatic because I am those girls whose lips crack and bleed when they get dry. So this is something that's really important for me. I need a good lip balm and this one, it's pretty good number nine a really good nail kit I have beautiful hands <laughs> and I have a huge thing with my hands I'm one of those girls who loves to do a manicure at home my nails 
nine out of ten times i painted my nails grow really long once again i'm saying it i have beautiful hands i just like them to look a certain way and those girls i need a nice nail kit this would be something that would be very important for me i would keep it really simple and just buy a nail file cuticle remover a base coat a top coat and one good polish that's all that i need but in real life i'm quite ridiculous i think i have about 100 nail polishes <laughs> and i have a really solid manicure toolkit it is kind of ridiculous actually this is it can you tell how heavy it is everything is in here baby everything is in here for good manicure very important for me and thinking about it when it comes to colors i'm not like color loyal because i have beautiful hands i feel like i can get away with almost any color in fact i know i can get away with almost any color i'm brave enough to wear any color but if i were to narrow it down i think a good brown would work for me let me show you the one that is currently in my rotation a nice solid brown like this this is live olives nail polish in the shade chalk ice it's gorgeous it works for me it's kind of like a nude because it really matches my skin tone as well a polish like this would do me good i would survive with it until the end of the bottle and then go crazy and buy 10 billion nail polishes <laughs> number 10 a good cleanser a really good solid cleanser i have met several cleansers in my life i'm a skincare influencer at the end of the day i'm always trying something new but looking at this list i thought i would pick a cleanser that has just a little bit of exfoliation in it because i haven't put an exfoliating product in this list even though i would put an exfoliating toner in that bunch of k beauty toners that i said i would buy back to the cleanser i would buy an exfoliating cleanser and i have decided to go with the clean and serene from disciple london a beautiful cleanser i met this cleanser last year and it just did the thing for me not only does it go a long way it has a mild exfoliation the foam is beautiful it's a beautiful dark green bottle i love this cleanser it does the job it belongs on this list last and not least i want to pay an homage to my diy beauty ways i would definitely buy a couple of oils and butters from akoma skincare this is a brand i have talked about quite a bit and that's because i am a diy girl i do love to make my body butters by myself i do make a couple of my facial oils by myself i use oils and butters to support the health of my to support the health of my hair so yeah i would grab a few i'm not particularly loyal to any i like to try different ones akoma skincare has such a range that it is so much fun every time i shop and i'm always trying something new off the top of my head i would say my favorite is mango butter absolutely moisturizing and so soft macadamia butter love that stuff as well um rose hip i love that as well yeah i would definitely do a little shop with a comma skincare just to get my oils and butters and the clay that i had mentioned i know this video is a little bit here there everywhere but i didn't want to overthink it i just wanted to go with the flow i did make a list of these things before i started this video but i just said you know what i was gonna rattle on and whatever came to my head is what is going to come out of my mouth and that's what's happened i hope you've gotten to know me just a little bit more at least beauty wise that is down in the description box i will make sure to fill it up with as much information as i can about all the things that i have talked about and with that i want to thank you so much for spending some time with me my name is ijama and i'll see you soon